Why be a snack when you can be a whole dinner plate? Hey guys, what is up, what's going on? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing to you guys a full face using nothing over $10. And let me just say, I'm all about it. I'm all here for it. I'm obsessed with this look. This is the epitome of a perfect party glam makeup look. Y'all, I even took my hoodie off. I dressed up for the occasion. I am here, I am ready. And if you guys are ready, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Also click the bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a new video, which is is three times a week every single week I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and you guys don't want to miss out on the fun so with that sit back relax grab some popcorn grab something because it's gonna be a long one okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it as you can see my brows are done and my lids are primed now fun fact got to tell you guys a little story like I told you guys in some of my previous video I was going to grow my eyebrows out but I couldn't help myself I had to go in and tweeze some of the hairs because it was really affecting the way my eyeshadow looked and I just I couldn't handle it so yeah confessions real real life problems here okay anyways moving on to shadows I will be using an eyeshadow palette by profusion this is a relatively larger palette this is called the Sienna's palette now what I love about profusion is that they have really great products for an affordable price point you can purchase these at Target BTW I'm gonna first start off with the shade called serendipity which is that yellow in the palette just for a really fun pop of color and I'm gonna work this in to the crease I'm taking this on an M441 and just really going in big circular motions. Now keep in mind my lids are already primed. I set it down with a tacky concealer. Just use whatever eyelid primer you guys have at home. You could also use a really really affordable concealer because that's essentially just going to mute out the lids and give you a nice tacky base for your eyeshadows to stick to. So again I'm really just working on building the shadow right here in the crease. Since this eyeshadow is essentially going to be my transitional color just take your brush and go in big circular motions so that way that shadow is nice and diffuse you definitely don't want to leave any room for any harsh edges so just keep blending 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 what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna step outside of the Sienna's palette and I'm gonna use a single shadow right here this one is by Maybelline this is one of the expert wear single shadows in the shade fierce Fuchsia. As you can see, that's a really, really beautiful pink shade. It is very, very vibrant. And one of the main reasons I'm stepping outside of the Sienna's palette is because they don't have a pink shade that's as vibrant as this one right here by Maybelline. This retails for $2.99, so it's not expensive at all. And I really just want to experiment with color. Sometimes I get very stuck in my ways and I'll only use like my typical warm shades. So I definitely want to, you know, change up the pace a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of that fuchsia shade on an M433 and I'm actually gonna just start working it right here into the crease a little bit again I'm putting this in my crease I'm not taking it above the yellow serendipity color we applied previously so you want to keep it in the crease but you want to keep it kind of low you don't want to blend it up too high at all otherwise we're gonna cover up all of that yellow we just applied and we don't want to do that I'm packing this color right here on the very outer V and I'm rocking it in my crease from inner to outer corner. Now that we're looking extra colorful, I'm gonna warm up the look a little bit with the shade called Daring from the palette. And what I'm gonna do with this shade is I'm gonna place it right in between that fuchsia and the yellow to warm up the look a little bit. And the brush I'm using is just an M433. And this is essentially just going to bring the entire look together. It's also going to provide the eye with a little bit of warmth and make it a little bit more wearable than your typical vibrant yellow and pink look. I'm gonna open up my eye a little bit more and really just rock the shade right here in the very inner corner. So I'm not entirely sure if you guys could tell just how much adding that warmer color right in between those two shades really just transform the look. Like this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like right now. It's all about really just building colors up and pairing them together for more of a seamless blend. I'm now gonna go in with the shade called Madly and I'm just going to press this right here towards the very outer portion of the eyelid and this color is more of a brick color which is essentially really going to deepen up this look right here and again I'm just kind of pressing the shade and then I'm sweeping my brush side to side 
Once I have majority of that color packed on, I'm gonna take an M514, which I'm doing right now, and I'm just going to continue buffing out the edge, like so. Moving right along, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Joa Beauty Truly Yours Full Coverage Concealer. I do have mine in the shade Natural Ivory. What I love about this is that it's not too thin, but it's also not too thick either, making it the perfect concealer to cut your crease with. So I'm gonna cut my crease with an ABH A2. What I love about this brush in particular is that it is very, very thin, and it's super easy for me to cut my crease with. So I will just anchor my peaky, my pinky. I will just anchor my pinky right here on my cheek and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my brush and just stamp it across my eye where my eyelid would naturally crease. So I like to go in stamping motions because I feel like I have more control over where I'm actually placing the product. So I'm just gonna continue to really just perfect this line right here and I think that is looking really, really good and then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue following the natural curvature of my eye. So it should look a little something like this. And then I'm just gonna continue to pat that concealer all over the lid until it's nice and even. So this is as even as I think my two creases are gonna get. What you really wanna make sure to do is just go in and just tap away any excess wet concealer because sometimes what happens is when you lay your shadows over top, it will oxidize them a little bit, especially if you are working with more matte shadows. Today, I'm not gonna be working with a matte shadow. I'm definitely gonna be working with a shimmer all over the lid and maybe even some glitter. I'm gonna pick up the shade called Conquest and I am going to apply this completely dry directly over top of this sticky base. The reason that I cut my crease is because I don't have a Fix Plus or anything like that under $10. And usually I'll apply my shimmers wet with like MAC Fix Plus or something like that. So I did cut my crease just so that way the shadow can show up completely foiled and just so that way it was nice and defined. So I'm just taking this shadow and really packing it on directly over top of that concealer. So the shadow called Conquest is leaning a lot brighter than I thought it would. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of the shade called Dizzy and also tap into just a tad bit of the shade called Bite. And I'm going to pop it right here closest to where that matte shadow and the shimmer shadow meet just to get a nice blend going on. And I am just going to wiggle the brush side to side. And I did switch over to using a M167. Going right back into the shade called Madly, I'm just going to press it right here and then just sweep it inwards the slightest bit just so that way I have a nice gradient between all of the colors. And as you can see, whoo, that blend though. So I'm really loving the way that the look is coming out so far, but I think a glitter eyeliner would really take things to the next level. Like we're not going for like an everyday look. I don't want to put on a black liner because that's hella basic and that's something I would typically do like in an everyday glam makeup look. This is a party makeup look so we want something super festive and fun. So I'm gonna go in with a metallic liner. This one right here is by Maybelline. This is the Master Precise Ink Metallic Liquid Liner in Solar Gold. And then what I'm gonna do after I kind of get my wing guide down, I'm gonna fill it in with a little bit loose glitter so it's gonna be really really fun really festive if you're not really into this part definitely skip it but if you guys are into it I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it pretty much I'm just going to trace out the area where I want the glitter to lay on my lid and the reason I'm using this instead of a black eyeliner is because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to go in and cover up we just want to create a very nice guide now that gold liner isn't really showing up much right here in the very inner part, and I really need to lay down some kind of guide, so I'm actually gonna go in with concealer at this point and just apply a little bit right here to the very front, just so that way I could see where I want to actually place the glitter. So I know this right here looks a little strange, but now that I have my guide down and in place, I'm gonna take a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer, little by little, and I'm gonna stamp it directly over top of that guide. Following that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the NYX Loose Glitter right here in gold. Now, one of the biggest tips I can give you when doing this is to work little by little, section by section, Otherwise, the glitter primer will dry up before you actually get to it. So I like to just start, apply a little bit of the primer, then take the glitter and put it directly over top. 
Another thing I really want you guys to make note of is that you do get a lot of glitter fallout when doing this. So I highly recommend that you guys do your foundation last. I'm kind of second guessing the glitter liner. It's a little out there. I'm not going to lie, but makeup's supposed to be fun. So I'm just gonna keep it going and keep the positive vibes. I'm just cleaning up all the glitter that kind of just fell on my cheek right here. Again, you will get loads and loads and loads of glitter fallout with this. So make sure you do your glitter liner first before you do your foundation. I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm gonna use the Koki Volume and Lengthening Mascara. Honestly, you guys, I really do love this mascara on its own. Obviously, I'm not gonna wear it on its own today simply because, I mean, come on. No brainer. Look definitely calls for a dramatic pair of false lashes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do after I coat my lashes very, very nicely with mascara. Now that my lashes are nice and coated with mascara, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on falsies off camera just because it does take a little minute and then we'll come right back and we'll work on the rest of the face. Okay, honey, lashes are on. Also, let's talk about my skin really, really quick. I have no idea what's going on. I'm breaking out all over the place. Like, I'm honestly taking my Huda Beauty faux filter foundation back. I really, really am because after I read that comment, like, all of these pimples started sprouting everywhere, like, all in this area, and I'm not about that life. Oh, I didn't show you guys the primer I was using. I will be using the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Smoothing Primer. You guys know I really love this primer. It works really, really well at smoothing the skin while also hydrating it at the same time. And if you're gonna go out to a party, let me just tell you, primer is definitely one of those steps that you do not want to skip, especially if you plan on going out, having fun, getting lit. You want your makeup to stay on and stay in place. I will be using my tried and true Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This foundation retails, I want to say under $7. Like it's not even all that expensive at all. It is one of my absolute favorite foundations from the drugstore simply because it gives my skin the most natural skin-like finish I have ever seen. It says mattifying, but it's not technically a mattifying foundation. It definitely is more of like a satin foundation. And what I love most about this foundation is that it has buildable coverage. So it's not gonna go on full on coverage. You could definitely build this up to full coverage, which is something I like, but even though you can build it up, it never looks cakey. It always looks amazing on the skin. Like look how flawless. And do y'all see all of these little things just, ooh, I just wanna like, but I can't. So uh, we're gonna have to roll with all of that texture in that area of my face. Let's just ignore it. Let's pretend it's not there. But do you just see how beautiful my skin looks? Like it looks so skin-like, beautiful. I'm about it. If you guys haven't tried the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, definitely give it a try. If you are dry, do not be scared of the matte in the name, it definitely is not like a matte, like an overly matte foundation. I'm now gonna move on to concealer. I will be using the Joa Beauty Truly Yours Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Natural Ivory. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this out on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna take my Equal Tools sponge, pick up a little bit of that concealer, and really just work it right here underneath the eyes for more of a bright eyed effect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Whoever said you can't look good on a budget, lied. This concealer by Joe Beauty is so lightweight. It looks really good. Now that I have that concealer all blended out underneath the eyes, I'm gonna go in and set it down with a little bit of loose powder. I will be using this one right here by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this on my sponge, nothing too crazy, because this is such a beautiful lightweight concealer. I don't want to apply too much powder under here, but I do essentially want to set the concealer down and in place. I'm also going to take that Maybelline powder and just set down in the middle of my face as well And then I'm gonna go in with a regular pressed powder. This one right here is by Ellie Girl This is the Pro Face High Definition Matte Powder and I'm gonna take it on my Koki 618 brush Which is in fact a foundation brush, but I do like to use mine for powder in case any of you guys were curious I know I was getting some questions about that down below in the comments of my last video So I'm just going to press the powder into the skin to further mattify and give me a little bit more coverage. 
bronzer. Let's talk bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Clab Sun Obsession Sculpting Bronzer in the shade Major. One of my all time favorite bronzer shades. Now, I will say that this bronzer is being discontinued at Sally Beauty Stores. It is currently clearance for about $7.49, so snag it while you can. I know someone was telling me that they couldn't get it in stores, but it still is available over on the Sally Beauty website, and I will have that actually linked down below for you. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and I'm just going to apply it right here to give my face a little bit of color and to just create natural looking shadows. This bronzer right here is a spot on dupe for Benefit Hula, which is why I love it so much. It's a beautiful taupe shade. It's not too warm, but it's also not too cool either. Y'all, I'm obsessed like low-key living for this entire look which is crazy because let me just say i had my doubts i'm also going to take some right alongside my jawline to give me a little bit more color and of course we can't forget to take a little bit of that bronzer alongside the sides of the nose to shape it up a bit and to actually tone down my nose contour just a little bit i'm going to take some translucent powder and put it right alongside my nose this is going to clean up any of those lines and i'm also going to highlight right down the center of my nose. While I let that powder sit there and bake on my nose, I'm actually gonna go in and highlight. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Expert Wear Single Shadow in the shade The Glow Down. I did talk about this in one of my best of drugstore videos, and I told you guys I really, really, really love it as a actual highlight, and this is why. Like, look how gorgeous. $2.99, definitely go snag it up. If you guys want something super dirt cheap and affordable. I'm gonna take some of this on my chin. Also, my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away my nose bake. I'm going to add this as a very inner corner highlight as well because why not? Might as well go all out. Following that, I'm just gonna finish off the lower lash line a little bit. I'm gonna pick up the shade called Daring on a M507 and I'm just going to buff and blow this out directly on my lower lash line, connecting it with the shadow on my upper lid. On an M433, I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow shade and I'm actually gonna use this color to buff and blow out the lash line a little bit more. Nothing too crazy though. I just wanna add a hint of color. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in Nude in my waterline. For blush today, I will be using Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is one of my personal faves. I'm gonna use this to warm up the cheeks a little bit. One thing I really love about Milani's Baked Blush shades is that they give off the most beautiful luminosity to the skin. And you guys know I'm all about that. And lastly, for the lips, I will be using my custom Matte Addiction Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Nude here. Now, this barely made the cut at $9.99, but I freaking love it, and a lot of you guys have been wanting me to use it in more looks. So I'm going to pop this baby on, and that's pretty much going to complete the look. That wraps up the video. Okay, um, this is pretty much the final and completed look. What do you guys think of it? Hmm? Hmm? Let me know down below in the comments. I will say, as I was filming, I was like, glitter liner? You know, it was probably a little bit of a fail, but I feel like everything came together at the very end. So I'd love to know your feedback down below in the comments. And as always, chat it up down there. I'm going to be responding to a ton of you. Also, like the video if you guys still haven't already. Honestly, it really helps me out. Believe it or not, you guys control the algorithm. So if you guys want to see my channel flourish to its full potential, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, click the bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload, which is three times a week every every single week. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Literally, I don't miss an upload. No tea, no shade, just saying. And y'all don't wanna miss out on that. I love you, and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces. outro of the outro i don't think you guys understand what i had to do to get my boobs to stay in this top we got the duct tape oh, oh.
<laughs> yeah, it definitely was a process. Bobito had to come up in here and like help me take my boobies down. But we're not gonna talk about that. Like, we're not. What we're gonna talk about is you guys pressing the subscribe button, like right up here, and check out some of my other videos. If you guys like holiday looks, if you guys like regular looks. Make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more. I love you and I will talk to you guys all on the next one.